Greetings, I'm Neon Slice, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get past the village easily in a professional. Now, I know I said easily, but this is now no easy feat. So, to do this in the most effective way, we have to own the deluxe edition and have the chicken hat. But, I'm going to be showing you how to do it with just regular weapons. So, I'm going to be using the Sentinel-9 pistol. Uh, and the shotgun, the vanilla shotgun, okay? But you can just use the regular pistol as well. So to get the uh, chicken hat, you have to finish hardcore with an S plus, S plus rank. So keep that in mind. But yeah, the chicken hat makes you take less damage. But yeah, we're gonna go up here to the right and kill this enemy in stealth mode. Try not to alert them, but it, it doesn't really matter that much if you alert them or not. So our goal is to kill 15 enemies in total. So that was our first enemy. Um, I'm not too sure if the enemy count starts there, but I do believe it does. So, our goal here is to get these two boxes. Uh, these two boxes sometimes drop grenades, and we need at least two grenades, one or two grenades, in order for this to be the most optimal way of doing this. After that, we're gonna jump over the fence and go up here to get the green herb, and then after that, we are going to kill this enemy. Um... This enemy usually alerts uh, the others, so yeah. Right after that, we're gonna make it into the shotgun house. Okay, I'm calling this the shotgun house. After that, we're gonna go upstairs and get the shotgun. But before that, we're gonna push this uh, thing on in front of the, the window. So after that, we're gonna break the, the barrels and grab everything with our knife, okay? So our goal is to get up there, upstairs, and try not to take damage from this guy. Sometimes this guy, this guy rushes at you if you take too long downstairs, but it's perfectly fine. You can mess up. So grab the shotgun. Uh, make it fit, uh, but uh, uh, by the way, you literally don't need the hand cannon, okay? I just have the hand cannon here because I was testing something else in this video. Uh, but uh, I was trying to shoot the bell with the hand cannon and I couldn't. But uh, anyway, don't mind that. So I'm grabbing the, the grenade also, and then I'm killing this guy with a shotgun, okay? So your goal is to kill the guy before he grabs you with the shotgun, or at least stun him with your pistol or Chicago if you have the Chicago. Grab the shotgun shells and then jump out the window. So since we blocked the window downstairs, there should be a bunch of enemies down here bunched up, okay? It's not always going to be the same location for you. It might be different. So after you see them bunch up like that, even if it's two or three, just throw your grenade. Throw your grenade and then finish, finish anyone that could have survived uh, with your pistol or Chicago if you have that. The pistol should be enough. Now with my shotgun in hand, I'm just going to run around and uh, uh, I'm going to equip my pistol actually and shoot and go into the, uh, uh, the cow barn and shoot the fire thing. So after that, I'm going to be killing some enemies if I have enough distance. If you don't have enough distance, uh, then just run around the barn and go to the left here. Go to the left here, otherwise you get grabbed, okay? Equip your shotgun, and now from now on, you will try to get at least one kill per shotgun shell. This is the most optimal way. So we're going to go into this house. There are some scripted events here. Uh, one sitting on the couch. There is another um, grenade in one of these containers, so it's worth getting, but it is very risky. So... I'm going to be shooting with my shotgun shells here, again, try not to get grabbed, but uh, yeah, if you see the opportunity to kill a bunch like that, boom, throw your grenade. Even if you get grabbed here, it's worth getting at least those three or four kills. After that, get get out of here as soon as you can uh, with your shotgun. Watch out, the chainsaw guy might actually get to you at this point, so always use a headset to hear. And yeah, that is it. Like, literally, that was it for me. I just used uh, all of my shotgun shells and the two grenades. Now... You don't have to take the same exact path that I took. I'm just giving you some tips on how to do this, okay? So now let's do it without the chicken hat. So alternatively, you can do this without the chicken hat and in a different strategy. So here's a different strategy. So in this strategy, I'm actually going to be using the base pistol, okay? So if you don't have the Lux Edition... If you don't have the Chicago or anything like that, I'm just using the pistol and the handgun, the, the handgun and the shotgun, sorry. And I'm still doing the same thing. I'm going behind this enemy and I'm stabbing her. And then I'm going to the same houses right here in this thing. And I'm breaking this, trying to get that hand grenade. And uh, remember, it's random. It's, it's random, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, more often than not, you get it right here. So, as you can see, I did not get it on that run, but uh, yeah, as you know, you uh, have to break the knife, break the things with your knife, so it, it is faster. After that, I'm just running straight to the shotgun house. So, in the shotgun house, uh, I am still closing the window, the same window, with uh, this bookshelf thing, and then I'm breaking these barrels with my knife, and then I'm grabbing everything. 
That way we have enough healing items and ammo. After that, I'm going upstairs getting the shotgun and the uh, hand grenade, okay? So, if the guy is not up there yet, get the get the shotgun shells. If the guy is up here, wait for him to get up here and uh, shoot, shoot him in the face with your shotgun. After that, wait for Salvador, the chainsaw guy, to be right behind you or, like, you know, make his way upstairs. Just use the sound cues. And then jump down. Equip your, equip your uh, grenade. Don't get grabbed. Don't get grabbed. Don't get grabbed. And throw it in the middle. Uh, you have to kill at least two enemies, but one is even enough. After that, it's easy peasy. All you have to do is just run around with your shotgun, okay? Just run around with your shotgun, try to get the second grenade, and uh, go back and forth. Same thing that I was doing uh, in uh, my previous uh, playthrough that I just showed. So, with your shotgun in hand, anyone, anyone that comes in front of you, just shoot them in the face. Um, especially this guy, because he has a knife and I hate him. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, I don't, I don't remember, I don't have the chicken hat, but I do have the, the hunks mask, the gas mask, but, uh, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Anyway, we're going for, uh, we're going for shotgun kills here, watch out. Going up the, up the ladder if you can, but as you saw there, I actually survived one chainsaw, I don't know how, but, uh, anyway, don't jump into this house, because you'll get, you'll get stuck here. Uh, but, uh, if you're lucky enough, uh, you will be able to run past... Uh, but yeah, don't go into the house, just run around it, and we go back into the shotgun house. <clears throat> so my, my biggest advice is to use ladders to your advantage. Use ladders to your advantage because enemies get stuck in ladders, they, you know, they take forever to go up the ladders, or, you know, just, they try to bring it up. So, our goal here, now that we have about, like, five enemies or less left, is to actually sit around in uh, the rooftop area so we're gonna take this right window right here and then we're gonna sit up here and we're gonna shoot all the enemies this is also a really good spot to throw your grenades we're gonna shoot all the enemies with uh, our pistol that are trying to get up there and that's how we complete the village with the regular handgun with the regular shotgun and with the regular hand grenade and with without the chicken hat if you're wondering how to complete this game in uh, under 5 hours and 30 and get your S plus rank very easily with 1 hour and 30 minutes to spare, check out my in-depth guide. It is not perfect, of course. I'm making more uh, for hardcore and the other difficulties, but uh, check it out. It goes very in-depth, and I'm always willing to help you in the comment section if you need any more advice. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Yeah. Goodbye.